Hello, everyone, and it's a beautiful day here at our podcast neighborhood. This is Kathleen Smith, Chief Outreach Officer here at ClearJobs.net, and I'm happy to welcome you all back to Security Clear Jobs, Who's Hiring and How. Yes, we are missing my co-host, Rachel Bozeman, today, and I know her fans are going to wonder where she is. She has a work assignment, and she could not join us today, but... We do have Katie Sargent, Talent Acquisition Manager for 26 Technologies. Welcome, Katie. Hi, Kathleen. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit more about yourself, how you landed at 26 Technologies, and what your responsibilities are. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, like you mentioned, I'm a talent acquisition manager here at 26. Coming up actually this week is uh, my two week or two year anniversary this week. Uh, so excited about that. Can't believe how fast it's gone. Um, I was brought in by a uh, referral. An old colleague of mine had come over here and said, hey, we're growing like crazy. It's a great time to get in. Um, come on over. Uh, so I, two years ago, started and um, haven't looked back since. Uh, right now, kind of my day-to-day, -day, it varies, as you know. Um, so I manage an awesome team of recruiters who help support um, a few of our different business units, primarily our internal operations, our cyber systems business unit, and our electronic systems business unit. Um, and then I also kind of do uh, our events, which is how I uh, met you all, mm -hmm. and um, our summer internship program. Wonderful. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you at some of our clear job fairs that are coming up. So the company has really grown since you joined them. What has it been like to be part of, you know, this growing company? And tell us what you actually do, because I understand you refer to yourself as a research and development company. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's been fun. Uh, the growth, uh, a little exhausting at times, of course, but uh, overall fun for the most part. You know, every day is new. It's something different, exciting, um, and it, it, it's really allowed a lot of personal growth and opportunity for myself. And I think for a lot of the people that work here, which is, like, I think, why um, people stick around and like it so much. Um, so back in 2021, um, we were acquired by Carlisle Group. Um, so since then, we've gone through some rapid growth, both um, organically through, you know, contract extension, new contract wins, um, and then also um, acquisitions. Uh, and the acquisitions have been really interesting because uh, they really do their research um, and just kind of strategically find very complementary businesses um, to kind of the services and the mission that we are, that we do. And tell us where does the name two six come from? Yeah, um, we get that question a lot. Uh, so two six um, originally came from. So in 2017, we were started via a spinoff of a commercial cybersecurity company. And that uh, started and was founded on February 6th. Uh, and as we've grown, uh, we've added the 2.6 technologies, kind of keeping 2.6 as the core of our, our namesake. Um, and it's something that we actually still celebrate to this day with our annual 2.6 uh, day of service. That sounds great. I always love those days of service. They really are a really great way to hone in the focus of the company. So tell us a little bit more about the positions you're really trying to fill and what are the skill sets that you're really focusing in on? Yeah. So um, as I mentioned, we've done a lot of growth through acquisition and um, we've got several different business units and they really specialize in different areas, uh, all very mission focused. Um, so they range, right, from some of your traditional Java developers, full stack developers, cloud engineers, um, to our embedded design, low level firmware engineers, reverse engineers, um, kind of the full, full gamut of your traditional software development life cycle, and then some of your non traditional um, research uh, and principal investigator type roles. So Obviously, another question that we always ask is, is, is there any particular place that these positions are located or are some of them remote? Uh, we have a mix. So I would say a majority of our positions um, are located in the national capital region, of course. 
um, a good chunk. Our headquarters is in Arlington, so we have a good, uh, good chunk of our positions there. Um, but also hiring um, in, you know, Fair Oak, Chantilly. Um, we also have offices um, in Augusta, uh, San Antonio, Colorado Springs, and some folks out in Hawaii. And it sounds like you have a very large dog. What kind of dog do you have? <laughs> I sorry, it's a uh, no, no. We puppy. are very, we are very dog friendly. We usually have my dog and Rachel's dogs on on the show. So just tell us what kind of dog you have. Yes. So that one is our um, almost eleven month old chocolate lab. So he's our puppy. So he kind of guards the uh, you know the street when <laughs> neighbors walk past. He lets us know. Um, and usually I have, we've got a uh, 12-year-old um, Chihuahua mix, and she's usually in here just on my lap or underneath the desk, too. <laughs> That's great. Great to know that you, you have that mission support there with you. So, you know, it's interesting. It sounds like with all of the acquisitions that you've had, and even though that there has been complimentary, you've also had to keep a sort of a touch on the company culture. So tell us a little bit more about what you find your company culture is and why would someone want to come work with you? Yeah, I think, um, you know, for me personally, I I find it easy to be passionate about the work um, that we do. And I think that's the case for a lot of people. Um, we're obviously doing very mission focused work. Um, and that's kind of the one consistent thing we have throughout the organization and those like-minded individuals who are passionate about the mission and, and the service. Um, I think it helps bring people together and it makes it a fun place to work. Cause when you're, you're going into the trenches, you know, the skiffs, the, Solving those problems that haven't been solved before, those tough days are a little bit better when you have people by your side who have that similar mindset um, and just really, you know, like to be creative and innovative and and how you're going to get there. Um, and then I think it's the, the little things that we do as a company. Um, you know, our headquarters, the it, they've got the kitchen with the cold brew machines and the sparkling water machines and um, snacks and the, the weekly catered lunches. Um, our two six day is always a, a great day. We get a lot of people together, um, and our our annual uh, all hands meeting that we have every year October. It's it's those little things that I think really um, help drive like the culture. Um, it keeps it fun, right? Because we know we're doing hard stuff. Um, being in a windowless room. You know, all day is, is not fun, but when you, you've got the support and, the, you know, people that you work with that you really enjoy, I think it makes it a bit easier. Certainly. I mean, it's one thing that we talk to a lot of our employers about is that understanding culture, understanding that you've got to have fun because you are doing so much really hard work during the day and you are supporting the mission. It's not like you can really take a day off. So it's it's nice to know that uh, many of our customers are really looking at that company culture. Something you said at the beginning was that you were referred in and I understand that you really lean into your current employees for referrals. Can you tell us more about your referral program and how much you rely upon referrals for your recruiting strategy? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, who doesn't love referrals, right? I think uh, any company you talk to will tell you they, they love referrals. So we really place an emphasis on it. Um, I think our um, referrals represent between 35 and 40 percent of our hires and um, we have a great referral bonus program um, so we've branded it launched it we've made it easily accessible for our employees to get to to figure out where they need to send their referrals who they need to be in touch with and then um, we make sure every referrals in touch with within 48 hours uh, last year I think we paid out uh, just over $350,000 in employee referrals. So someone mentioned um, on our pre-call that you're going back to in-person interviews. So what is your strategy behind that? Because so many companies really 
latched on to virtual interviewing during the pandemic and kept it after the pandemic as a way to save costs. But it sounds like you're, you know, moving toward all in-person strategy. You want to tell us a little more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So I think um, we definitely have a mix still, and it's really dependent on the candidate and the situation, right? So if we've got to move really quickly for someone, they're not local, we're absolutely so happy to do virtual. Um, but we found that really getting people into the office to see the space, to make that human connection again, um, to kind of feel that culture really allows them to, to get more excited about the work that we're doing um, and just gets a little bit, you know, allows them to be kind of let their guard down a little bit more in person, um, talk about, you know, what they've done, what they want to do, and we can show them, right? Like this, these are the things that we're doing. So, so many, you know, all of our listeners are, obviously going to be preparing for their next in-person interview. And so many of us haven't been in person in a long time. So what are some of your interview tips that you would like to share with our listeners since we're, they're probably going back to their first in-person interview sometime soon? Yeah. Yeah. And one thing about our culture is we're pretty relaxed, right? We're, we're casual. So I would always tell people, be yourself. Um, one of the components of our interview is, um, you know, culture and team fit. Uh, we want someone who's just going to mesh and jive and come in and be like, wow, we're working on really hard, really cool things. Um, so be yourself, uh, and talk about what you know well, admit when you don't know something that well, and, you know, feel free to talk about areas of growth that you want to have. Uh, I, cause I think that's really important. Um, in just being real, um, it just shows through in an interview. Um, I, I think just making sure you're, you're prepared. Um, you know, you kind of get a little bit casual. You're used to maybe having some notes up. Um, so just, just kind of be prepared, go over the job description, look into the company, look at what they're doing, uh, look up the, your interviewers, right? You know, see if there's any common common threads, right? We work in a small industry. It is, you know, it's big, but it's small at the yep. end of the day. There's going to be connections. You know, the six degrees of Kevin Bacon in this space is, you know, more like two or three. <laughs> so thinking about your culture and thinking about how the company has grown, what are the kind of cleared professionals? Who's going to really thrive at 2-6? Who's going to be like, yeah, this is my place. This is where I want to be. Yeah, I think um, I think it's a, almost all people will thrive here because it's such a different, you know, it's just a little bit not, it, it's not traditional. We give you a lot of opportunities to just kind of create your own path. Um, a lot of the roles that we have are just not traditional. Um, and you get the opportunity to work on multiple things if that's what you're interested in doing. And I think it really allows people who are innovative, who just are curious by nature, who who want to solve hard problems, who want to do, you know, the mission work, who just really like um, being collaborative, working with a team. Um, because you're going to have experts in different areas and you're going to get to learn um, and you're going to get to hone your skill set in so many different areas from the different experts um, that we currently have on our team. Awesome. So, you know, we are a veteran owned firm and many of our folks are veterans, as you know, you know, Tracy being one. Um, so, we understand that you have some skill bridge opportunities and that's music to our ears because we want to make sure everyone takes advantage of those. Can you tell us more about your skill bridge opportunities? Yes, absolutely. We have a very high population of former uh, military and even a lot that are still serving um, in the reserves. Uh, it's something that we're extremely proud of, um, obviously being mission focused. So our goal with SkillBridge is to 
not bring someone in for, for free labor. We want to make sure that there is a position that's going to be there for that person at the end of their, you know, six months, 90 days, you know, whatever that timeline is for them. So we have opportunities um, in a variety of spaces, spaces um, in our information operations, information advantage team, our um, development teams, our, our cyber systems, our electronic systems teams. We're even working um, with some of our corporate teams to, to bring on Skillbridge members. Awesome. So since you did so well with the other curveball I gave you, I'm going to give you another one, which is, I know you're coming to some of our clear job fairs. What do you really, what do you want as part of the conversation when you talk to a job seeker at one of our clear job fairs? I mean, obviously they're going to have questions, but what do you want to get out of that interaction when you talk to someone at a job fair? Yeah, I love, um, I love the job fairs. I'm very peopley. Um, so I like to make that genuine connection with people at those job fairs. Um, just to really tell me about their background, what they're looking for, why, why they're looking, right? Because that's going to be different for everybody. And I think it's important to make sure it's a win-win for both parties, the company and the candidate. Because you don't want to just put a candidate in a position that's not a great fit for them. Because these are, these are humans. This is their life. Um, and, you know, it, it, maybe it's money. Maybe it's a family situation. Maybe it's, you know, insurance. So really kind of getting to the core of what what is the driver for these folks. Um, I think that's so incredibly important to find out. That's awesome. So how can our listeners get in touch with you? Yes. Uh, well, of course, you can always add me on LinkedIn. Um, and I will share... Um, our team email address is recruiting at 26tech.com. Um, that'll send you to our whole recruiting team um, and all of our business units. Otherwise, you can reach me direct at Katie, K A T I E dot sergeant at 26tech.com. Well, Katie, it has been absolutely fabulous chatting with you today. I so appreciate you sharing with us all of your experience and the exciting opportunities at 26. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you uh, having me and then working with my schedule as well. No problem. Have a great day. Thanks. You too.